Lockdown is hard. It can be tough all cooped up here at home, but the good news is the vaccine is coming and it won't be long before we're all out in the air playing golf again. And you know what? Just because we're confined to our houses doesn't mean we can't have a bit of fun with our golf games, especially with things like putting and chipping. All you need is a bit of carpet, maybe a bit of room to chip. And you never know, we might just improve our skills into the process. Now, I've set up a couple of putting games upstairs, so let's head up and I'll show you how they work. Hmm. Actually, this might come in handy. Nearest the skirting board. It's a really easy and fun game. Great for your touch and feel too. Three balls each to see who can finish nearest the skirting board without hitting it. Nearest ball wins. The second game is called putting balls. You'll need one jack, we use an orange ball, and each player has five balls. We use yellows and whites, but you can mark your own. The player with the most balls nearest the jack inside the other player's first nearest ball, when they're all hit, gets that many points. If you hit the skirting board, they don't count. Kind of like in bowls, play up to 20 or whatever you like. The third game is called knock the tee. Line up five tees, have five balls each, if you knock a tee, you score a point. If you finish short of a tee, you lose a point and take the ball out of the way. Whoever knocks the most tees wins. If you finish all square, it's sudden death. And finally, what about a good old penalty shootout? That mug we had earlier, place it on its side, have three or five balls each, and try to put them into the mug. If it hits off the side, it's just like hitting off the post or the crossbar. And watch out for over-enthusiastic diving celebrations. Now we're outside to do some chipping and you might have to improvise of course depending on how much room you have, what surfaces you have, gravel or grass, whether you've got a chipping mat or a doormat will do. If there's one thing we've gotten good at during this lockdown is improvising and of course be very very careful there's no glass or breakables in the way. I wouldn't want you to get into any trouble. The first game is called Knock the Can. You'll need three targets, bottles, cartons, anything really. We use cans because they make a satisfying ting when they're knocked. Place them in a box or a wall or a stool, five balls each, see who can knock the most, and there's that sound. The second game, let's call it the Umbrella Academy. Grab your golf umbrella, pop it down on the ground, five balls each, most in wins. This one is great for touch, but it doesn't matter how they go in, even off the handle works game is chipping bowls or should it be bowls because it's French isn't it? Played exactly the way we played putting bowls earlier on. Again score by landing nearest the jack. No gully this time. Play up to 20 and bon chance. And finally remember soccer AM in the 10 yard bucket challenge. Fill a bucket or basin with water. Pop it on the ground 10 yards away and simply chip it in. I say simple but it is harder than it looks and sometime later when the kids were long gone I finally managed it. <sighs> I'm not sure if I won any of those games, but it's all a bit of fun. You can play most of those alone or with your family. It might actually be a great way to get the kids off their phones for a while and play a bit of golf. Now, we'll also have a second video where I'll do a more home structured practice video for chipping and putting. So watch out for that too. For me for now though, it's Donald out.